All seven. Time for seven first alert weather. And you can't understand them. That's why they don't do weather on TV. OK, so that's the big thing about that. Hey, let me tell you about what's going on. We could probably use a few, few of those woolly worms over in uh, Colorado, Colorado State. As you can see, 49 degrees. This will be game time at 745. So it's going to be in the evening and the Broncos had Fort Collins and you can see clear and cold game in the second half down to 39 degrees. Whew. It's starting to be winter in Colorado. Not quite here yet, but we did see the temperatures drop down, as you know. Maximum wind gusts for today. We had some gusts as much as 32 miles an hour in Ontario. Uh, we're not out of the wind yet. We'll possibly see some wind tonight. There's still a chance of just a, if I could say a freakish, uh, <laughs> uh, isolated thunderstorm. And if that's the case, we could still see some gusty winds around the Boise area. And those winds will still blow even through tomorrow afternoon. They'll start to decrease uh, later tomorrow evening. And then we have the fog around for Thursday morning. OK, so those are some of the changes. This is a look at the latest satellite radar. You know, we had a pretty good band of rain. There it is coming through here. Now it's kind of breaking up at this point. But there's still some rain showers out there. And especially if you move down here toward the south to Gooding, Twin Falls, there's rain heading your way, you guys. It's just about ready to come in. You can see here throughout the southwest portion over the Owyhees. Now, most of this is breaking up here to the west. I want to show you this on the Futurecast. So the Futurecast, here it is, 7 o'clock tonight. Uh, that's where we're going to start this thing out here. And you can see the showers around the area that's pushed to our east and to the south that are heading toward Twin Falls. So there's not a lot there, but here's 1 o'clock in the morning. I would say even around midnight, there's a chance of a shower. And, and we only have just a few of the models that are showing us that there could be an isolated thunderstorm. So that's why it's still in the forecast. The likelihood is not very big. But if that's the case, we could see one or hear one. Keep that in mind and that could also produce some gusty winds as well as some fairly significant rain. By tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock in the morning, there's scattered showers around the area during the day. But the likelihood of getting a lot of rain tomorrow is not really big. And then when we talk about the amounts of snow in the mountains above 6,500 feet, let me just show you that Stanley by about uh, 11 o'clock Thursday, actually by late Wednesday night, could have about an inch of snow on the ground. So they could have an inch there. They could get some light snow in McCall. Kind of difficult to say if it's going to be sticking there. It's not a lot in the way of snow. Nobody else down throughout the valley locations, of course, no snow. Now, this is an indication of the winds throughout the Magic Valley. Also for tomorrow, temperatures stay cold down into the 40s. Highs basically into the 50s. Central Mountains, temperatures will be in the mid 50s. You see some of those cold nighttime lows, for instance, 35 for McCall, with the high temperature of 44. Shows a shower. Possibly a little mixture of rain or snow overnight, but tomorrow it's basically back to rain showers. Now, when you look at the highs for tomorrow throughout the valley, temperatures around 59, 60 degrees. Boise, only 58 degrees. 58 degrees also for the high temperature in Meridian as well as Eagle and Cuna. So we've got that and the wind decreasing clouds and showers, so it's pretty much breaking up. Thursday's looking a little bit better. And you know what? We start warming up, as you see, Friday. 69 degrees. Now let's let me work out my math here. Isn't that close to 70? OK, so that's uh, <laughs> yeah. there you go. One degree away. <laughs> yeah. So you got the 71 on Sunday. We're pretty uh, close to that for Friday, Saturday, yeah. Sunday, which to me is just about perfect weather. Awesome. Thank okay, you so much. Coming.